So the off instrument exercises, looking at the four parts of our technique being breathing, being embouchure, tongue and fingers. We're going to work through each one of those and we're going to look at exercises we can do to extend them when we're maybe in a car driving or something else. Probably not on public transport because it's a little bit embarrassing. Um, so, and even when you're just watching TV or watching YouTube or something, you know, I've got a couple of favorite channels I like watching and it's a good point to say, well, that video is five minutes long. If I do this exercise for five minutes, that's five minutes worth of exercise and practice. So playing, five minutes worth of playing, not practice. I hate the word practice. So first one for breathing. First thing we need to do is just check in, make sure we're breathing nice and deep. Make sure we've got that feeling of moving warm air in and out of our body. We're concentrating on the feeling of that squeezing and moving up. We talked about this right back when we did, I think it was video number four, number three, something like that, when we did Discover Breathing. Um, really important as well to try that little exercise, I'll cover it again, where we breathe in and we gulp like a goldfish. I hate that I have to do this twice on camera, but breathe in and gulp. So we can feel our rib cage stretching and our intercostal muscles stretching and we can do that in slight movements around as well just to kind of stretch everything and open everything out and even just breathing in warm air and blowing warm air out again without our instrument we can practice quietly we can go we can see if we can breathe in for one you know we can do that we can hold a piece of paper and blow the piece of paper we can blow a piece of paper against the wall Remember to extend it, practice blowing fast, blowing slow, moving our tongue up and down to get high and low. All these things are really good to keep our breathing muscles working. And again, remember to warm them down. So just to slow everything back down again, really listen and check in with the sound of the breathing. That's also a really good tip if you're really stressed about anything is to just check in with your breathing. Just listen to your breathing and it really does relax you really, really quickly. The second thing to check in with, I talked a long time ago on a video clip all about using a pencil, a little pencil trick. Um, I've since gone off that trick because it does actually create bruising, especially if you do too much of it. You get a slight bruising on your lips, which you don't really notice until you try to go to play and you're playing really horrible and it feels just yuck. So I tend to not use a pencil trick anymore. But what I do use is I concentrate on squeezing the embouchure here, concentrate on squeezing the corners and pointing the chin. And I'll hold that into position when I'm driving, say, between motorway bridges or something. So I'd maybe go, right, I'm going to do this for the count of 10. One, two, three, four. This is why you can't do it on public transport because you look really stupid. Um, so I would practice that. Now, an extension on that, that works these muscles and the corner muscles, but we have kind of the, the inner embouchure, the, the muscles within the lips here. The way we do that is we just repeat the, the letter P, We squeeze these muscles and go. So we're opening and closing the embouchure, and that is a really good workout for building these muscles. So building up the tongue and helping develop our articulation without the instrument is really difficult. We've got to look at the supporting muscles of the tongue. Now the supporting muscles are at the back, and the way we activate them is if we say the word doyoy. So our tongue is moving up and down at the back. You take that uh, that throat sound off. That's a really quick way for me to describe to you how to do it. But again, public transport, you just look like a complete maniac. Um, so that little exercise. So I would alternate that with the last exercise. And you know, work around that way. For the last one for fingers, you can take the fingering exercise and just do some air trumpet. Um, but really with the fingers, it's more just about stretching them and just really getting them working, you know, working independently instead of going three, two, one, three, two, one, one, two, three. You know, getting these anything that you can do just to move the fingers. But again, these are all exercises that you can do really, really quickly anywhere, pretty much, um, and they really do help build your playing back up to normal. So really, just to round up this, this series of uh, vlogs, I hope they've been useful. I hope they've been interesting. And I really hope that all of you at every single level have taken something away from that. And I hope by this point, you're back to your playing and it's feeling comfortable and happy. 
things that kind of really did jump out with me, I'm working on another series of blogs at the same time as this, um, all about kind of crossover with technique and doing other things in life as well. Um, and the thing that I'm coming to with that one is that I've got this constant thing that I've got a real hatred of the word practice. Um, I really don't want to call it practice anymore. Um, so I'm trying to get out of that, which has kind of been tripping me up all the way through these. Um, but just remember when you're playing your instrument to enjoy it as much as possible. And one of the quotes from a few videos back was, you know, we only progress and make development and improvement when we're enjoying ourselves and having fun. And that is honestly something that is the key to improving. You know, it's remembering that recovering from anything like this, it's not going to be just a nice smooth path and we're gradually going to get better and better every single day. It's going to go up and down and up and down. And sometimes we're going to make a massive jump forward. Sometimes we might go a few days where we don't make any improvement. But what we're going to do is we're going to stick with it and stick with a plan. And gradually you will find that that point from there to there it is easy to draw a line between them, but the actual path of recovery is up and down and all over the place. So don't get stressed about that. You know, don't get stressed about if you feel that you're banging your head against the wall. Just stick with a plan, keep doing these things, and you will find that, you know, down the line, four weeks, six weeks down the line, you will have made a huge improvement.